I was called by God in 1996 to intercede in Israel. I had no idea at all what was going on there. When I arrived, I, was, I heard ambulances going past and heard that there'd been a bus bombing in Jerusalem. I stumbled upon this bus bombing and saw pieces of flesh being picked up from two-story buildings of trees. It was horrific. Was it the Palestinians? No, it wasn't. This is a, the deep state. This is a quest for one world order and they blame the Palestinians on this. The President Yitzhak Rabin had been assassinated by a Zionist radical because of the Oslo Peace Accords um, where they were going to establish a, a two-state um, in Israel, giving Palestinians their own state. And this was thwarted and Netanyahu was put in his place, obviously to create a greater Israel by warring against his neighbors and genociding the Palestinians. Um, I have never ever felt such a burden. I wept for two weeks with a burden that um, was a spiritual burden because I'll, I'm only realizing really now why and what is going on there at the time and the implications that we're actually seeing now being played out where res rivers of blood are, thro are flowing through that area and more will obviously flow. This building up of a, of a physical kingdom is not of our God. This is, not the, this is not the blessings of Abraham. This is a curse. This is uh, our, our blessings of Abraham are spiritual blessings of peace, love, joy. They are not a physical kingdom of a land, a political system. A physical temple people are being deceived and there are 30 million Christian Zionists who are going along with this and 16 million Jewish um, probably Messianic Jews who are also going along with this deception there's a kingdom now teaching teaching this in, in um, many churches that is absolutely not of God and that's teaching people to so-called take back the kingdoms of this world to become the kingdoms of our God. That is not what is, that is not godly. Our, the kingdom of our Father is not of this world and has no origin of this world. That is the kingdom of Satan and that is exactly what he did when he, he took Jesus um, to tempt him was to set up a physical kingdom for him to rule and reign over this and that's the one world government that is that is trying to set itself up 